there it is. Let's find the release. There it is. All right, got the machete. I put my gloves on just to. There we go. Hopefully, I'm not gonna hurt myself. And my foot. All right, got the chest mount going. Let's hack away. It works. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this. I'm just hacking away at lower branch. I'm horrible at this. <laughs> I don't want to cut myself. <sighs> Still got all that way to go. Oof. All right, looks a lot better. Kind of. Wow. That's a lot of work. Just to ride through. Well, there you go. Machete. I'll continue a little bit later. All right, everyone. <laughs> I am sweating and hot. I wouldn't do this in the summer, but I do this in the winter. This is gonna be the, uh, tomorrow's gonna be a freeze. I think it's like maybe 50 degrees now. It's really, really warm here. There's no wind. All right, I cleared a path. Cleared a path for myself. Now I'm all hot. I might use the throttle a lot more, let the uh, electric motor do most of the work. I didn't cut myself, I didn't hack my arm off, thank goodness. All right, let's get going. Ugh, let's turn the bike on. Oh, I forgot to uh, pack all this up here. Let me pack it up here. All right, that's, that's good enough. Uh, let's get going here. I cleared the way for me, so I shouldn't have any problems until I get to that muddy area, which I gotta decide I'll go to the right. All right, there we go. I just throttle my way through. And, all right, ooh, it's gonna be a little muddy right here. A little wet, uh, but I just went right through it, good. <laughs> Pedal assist five. Uh, I'm on gear one. Thank goodness. Uh, uh. All right. Uh. Uh. All right. I'm getting a cool breeze. I guess I didn't need to bring my jacket after all. Worked up a, a good enough sweat. Uh. The machete came in handy. That's probably the only time I'll ever use a machete. Otherwise, no reason for me to use a machete at all. Gotta watch. All right. All right. Oh, one bar. One bar missing. I didn't check the air pressure here, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm low. I gotta take it easy here. I am gonna leave it on pedal assist five because um, 
a little exhausted from uh, hacking all the bush, hacking the bush. Wow, this is a, this creek is full now. It rained a lot. It was like pouring like crazy. So you can see the water's up. I'm just taking it slow because it could be a little bit more wet. Plus, I got a little bit more weight of the telescope. I kind of I'm, I'm feeling the the frame flex a little. Oh, getting some wind here. on the grass. Looks like they're a little muddy. A little too muddy for me. I might have to go up on the levee if there's a lot of mud on the trail. On this decomposed granite trail. there. <laughs> I'll stay here. Because I know there's some mud right there. Get on the high road. They got the lawnmower out here cutting the grass. Good. This five gear seven. Oh, that cold wind is cooling me down really good. Whew. Do some exercise. Come out here right in the cold. Oh yeah, my fingers are warm and toasty. They feel warm and toasty. Slow down here a little bit. There we go. Oh. Now I gotta, uh, I gotta be careful, uh, I gotta, uh, there's probably a really good chance that it's muddy under the, underneath the, uh, underpass, so I may not take the underpass. because it's, uh, it's muddy, it's still wet out here. Even though it's been a whole day, two days since it rained. During the winter, it doesn't dry up as fast like it does in the summer. Great adventure for me. I get to test out my uh, machete. I uh, got to play with my little telescope, which is always fun. Whew. Winter riding, cold ride, cold ride. It's different, people. Different. Try it out. Just be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. Uh, you, you probably won't be able to go as fast as you want, especially if it's wet or snowy. If it's still dry, that's cool, but you still may not go fast as you want because it's cold. And when it's cold, it's uncomfortable. And when it's uncomfortable, you don't want to ride. <laughs> you, you really don't want to ride. You'll be like, ah, let's go home. I'm cold. I feel like an old man. All right, my hands are feeling good. They're nice and toasty now. Once your hands warm up, uh, you know, it'll take a while before the, the wind gets it cold again, but if you got 
if you're like pedaling and you're getting body heat, that's the key. That, that really is the key. Generating your own body heat to stay warm. Whew. I was hacking away at that machete with the machete. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. If it's if it's gonna give me shorten my time a little bit, I'll take it. I'll take it, but I'm gonna I'll just take a look. I'm looking at the other side. It's it's obviously wet, but is it dry enough for me to go over? If I can walk it through, I'll walk it through. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, I don't know. Uh, My feelings. <laughs> I'm slipping. I know. I know. I know. It's too wet. I gotta get off. My weight and the, and the weight of the bike is gonna sink uh, sink into the mud. I'm just gonna slip. I'm just asking for trouble. I know right away. Oh, like right here, it's really soft. Yeah, oh God. There we go. Oh. I'm sinking in the mud. I gotta get on the grass or I'll sink. My bike will get kicked up with mud on the wheels. Oh. Like I can feel it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna walk it. I'm already this far. All right, just throttle, I'm throttling. Uh, throttle, 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 throttle. Uh, forget walk assist, just use your throttle. Oh yeah, I got mud on the tires. Probably got mud on my, on my boot. That's all right. Oh. It saved me some time. Ooh. I'm throttling pedal assist one. Oh. Oh. Winter riding, very different people, very different. Ooh. But it's uh it's fun though. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it has some adventure to it because the riding conditions are not ideal. It's cold, it's windy, and depending where you are, it's, uh, it may be wet and icy and snowy. So, but, but fun nevertheless. All right, let me pick up some speed here. Flick off the uh, mud. Oh yeah, <laughs> the mud is flicking off. I can hear it going into the fender. All right. Woo. This is the fun part. Oh. I'm still. I'm still generating body heat. I'm still warm. My fingers I feel like I'm also sweating a little bit. My fingers are uh, not cold, which is good. When you start off, you know, when you start off, you feel like, man, it's freezing. And, and you want to like, you want to like put on like uh, a nap astronaut suit or something and it's almost like you are you got your thick gloves and everything it's like you're putting on an astronaut suit but don't go overboard because by the end of your ride you're gonna be sweating and you're gonna be hating it so I dress just right for this for today I go out at the right time midday if possible where it's the warmest and the Sun is at the ideal lighting condition if you're uh, bike fogging. I'm down, uh, I'm down two bars. The bike is heavier. I got a lot more stuff on it. And plus it's cold. The batteries will, 
you'll notice, you'll notice, I mean, I mean, that's, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but uh, the, uh, the batteries drain faster. They don't last as long. You'll notice that. And plus the wind, it's more windy during the uh, spring and fall season and winter, depending where you are, I guess, but the wind takes out a lot of the power. I gotta check the tire pressure. It feels really, really low, but that's all right. I can make it. Oh, maybe not. The throttle is really. <laughs> I was expecting a little push. I didn't get a push. And I pushed the throttle. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna throttle. I got two bars. I'm gonna throttle. Use a crank buster. Oh. I feel heavier. I did some. I did a workout. I chopped up all the uh, vegetation out there. I'm pedaling now. Make it look like I'm pedaling at least. I'm starting to sweat, especially where the body arm is, like in the chest area, right around here. Let me throttle. I'm getting tired. A lot more wind. Every day the ride's different, you know. You got wind, you got cold. Cold kind of makes you feel heavier. You got a runny nose, so you're not breathing that much. You know, people who have helmets, I don't know how you do it or how you're gonna do it because you'll get a little sniffle, a runny nose, and then you got stuff running down your nose and into your mouth. So, wearing a helmet isn't always the answer either. Because I had to wipe my nose like several times on this ride. On my sleeve, on my glove, on the buff. I just pinched my nose, blew out. What I did is I pinched my nose, blew out, and turned the buff 90 degrees. Got a fresh nut rag. So, my pro tip, if you're going to wear a buff, or if you are wearing a buff, then, you know, because of the pandemic, you might as well wear a buff. It doesn't do anything, but people will not bother you because you're not wearing a mask. But, uh, you get a little runny nose, pinch, blow, turn 90. Move the, uh, the buff around your face 90 degrees. Either way, you get a fresh snot rag. And it dries up pretty quick. And then after that you wash it, all right? Or reuse it, or whatever you want to do. It's your snot. It's your DNA. Nothing to be ashamed of about. Oh. Oh, getting tired. I'm starting to overheat now. After you ride, you'll generate body heat. And this, uh, with the chest mount and the body armor, it's a Kevlar body armor, so it's uh, it, it insulates really well. It blocks out the wind really good, but when you when you start overheating, you'll you'll start feeling it. And plus, I got the uh, inner layer on. I'm wearing this uh, inner layer jacket. But you, this is where you just ghost pedal. Keep your blood circulating. And you can just ghost pedal. And uh, no one's gonna bother you. They're like, oh, he's riding a bike in the winter. How courageous. What a brave person. I admire that man. I see him as a role model. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Oh. 
already. I'm not going to take the shortcut because it's muddy. So I'm just going to take the road all the way. And again, I'm not... I'm not really ghost pedaling, but I'm not putting a lot of effort in. I'm just trying to cool down and make it look like I'm pedaling. And I'm trying to keep my, my uh, blood flow circulating. I don't want to just stop. Plus, I'm only on two bars left. But my hands are nice and toasty inside. I'm not feeling the wind, but it's my hand is breathing. That's the important thing. Get a glove that, that breathes. If you, that's why I recommend like a fleece glove. I don't know about a leather glove. It may get wet, moist in there. With a fleece glove, even though you're sweaty or it gets wet, it kind of stays dry. All right, right hand signal. All right. Nicely done. Oh, I mean, I'm standing upright or sitting upright as much as I can to get that wind. I got a tailwind because I'm not feeling the wind hit me anymore. Oh. Right hand turn. Okay, I'm gonna throttle now. Oh. Oh. All right, throttling. All right, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're enjoying your winter riding. You having fun yet? Anyways, more of this to come. Hope you all enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up, like, and comment. Till next time, everyone. Bye. See you all later. Jeez. Bye-bye. <sighs>